Hi Taurus! This is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week starting 22nd, 22nd of February 2021. It's going to be two cards per day every day of this week. So Monday 22nd of February Ace of Wands Tuesday King of Pentacles Wednesday Seven of Swords Thursday The Sun Friday Ten of Pentacles Saturday Eight of Wands and Sunday The Chariot Seven, seven of cups, your influencing energy, your options in your environment, in your surrounding, plenty of opportunities and options for you, which way, which way. All of it, it's in your mind. Um, nothing real yet, but you know, options are options, you know, seven of cups, it's full of optimism, always. Now, Ace of Wands with Knight of Wands for you on Monday. King of Pentacles with Page of Swords, Seven of Swords on Wednesday with Seven of Cups. Um, the Sun on Thursday with Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles with Death, Eight of Wands with King of Pentacles and the Chariot on Sunday with nine of nine of one judgment all right you are judging every single option that you have for yourself in your surrounding right now every single option but you will be making decision you will look for one which is the best which is most pros most prosperous which is most suitable that is judgment and it will be irrevocable decision that will be absolute decision for now there is nothing real that is the problem that you cannot clearly see nothing is sitting on the ground in here right you're supposed to choose between something that is still not sure nothing is sure in here that was kind of energy from earlier on that I don't know, it's uh, difficult to make a judgment on Seven of Cups where everything is actually a fantasy and you're supposed to make proper judgment, something that is irrevocable and absolute decision that is really important. But by all means, we do have Monday with Ace of Wands and Knight of Wands and this is quite nice combination. Knight of Wands is kind of Aries energy, that's fire energy, very fast. Okay, the, this Ace of Wands in the hand of God is in the hand of this Knight. Okay, this is already situation that you know about, that opportunity that you see for yourself. You are rather aware of it, how to work with that, what to do with that, because this energy is very creative. There's nothing in here with the... Ace of Wands, which is also opportunity. Now we are talking opportunities, options for you. Now that one, it seems very, it seems that appeal to you very much. You like it very much because this is rather enthusiastic, very happy, enthusiastic energy with a Knight of Wands. So I, I really think that you will make judgment. That what happened last week. You judge the, all these options, all these possibilities. Nothing real in here, but you. You made your decision that is this option is the best for you because it seems doable you can do the most with it that kind of moment on Monday no king of Pentacles Taurus Capricorn or Virgo person and you with as a page of swords page of swords is change of mind you are bringing news you are discussing you are saying it and I believe, I really feel that this is Taurus, somebody else in, that it's not you, that this King of Pentacles, it's not you, it's somebody else. And you are bringing, bringing up, bringing up something to this person to acknowledge, accept. You're expecting acknowledgement of this person. Perhaps you do have decision that you made, maybe you are bringing it up uh, um, before your father. 
to acknowledge, to give you maybe good advice or just to acknowledge, say, okay, I'll support you financially. If you like to study so and so, I'll support you financially. If you want to invest and do that and that, I'll support you. You see what I'm saying? It could be for people who are looking for employment. This is perhaps... Uh, um, going for interview, sending CVs and stuff like that could also be on Tuesday for some of you. But my impression is that you are bringing up something that is on your mind, some sort of communications and interaction with, with this Taurus Capricorn or Virgo person, somebody who is business minded and somebody who's older. I really think it's your father. Now, on Wednesday, Seven of Swords and Seven of Cups. Not two sevens. On Wednesday, it's it's always, you know, um, energy of stop. That is stop moment. You, it's difficult for you to really make decision for yourself. That's what I said. You have to judge. You have to decide and bring up idea about yourself. And it seems to me you did it, but somehow on, on Wednesday, it, it's coming up again that you are not sure about yourself and you wouldn't like to make something, I don't know, to make decision, to expose yourself to anything that is really meaningful that will kind of bring obligations for you or will keep you in one place. Somehow you don't want it. Decision in here for you is very difficult. Things are still on your mind. These are all options and it's all fantasy. It seems to me that that's what you've got right now up until Wednesday. Somehow you are uncertain about. There is definitely uncertainty on Wednesday and you would like maybe something else. You're not sure. Is that what I have decided is really best for me but there are other things that are really good you don't know which one do you like better you know that's what I'm saying it's Wednesday brings up that difficult moment for you where you know your options are all in your mind all fantasy and all are nice all are good and you cannot now pick one which is great idea great option for you of all these options, you are looking for something that is easiest one, that is easier. The sun and page of wands. Look, I like this um, a page of wands after this Monday, ace of wands and knight of wands. Sun and page of wands, I think, is extension of that Monday. This in between, it's kind of trying to find your way, trying to, trying to get confirmation, trying to get support, trying to see, to confirm for yourself that you are right because you have doubts about, about your choice, about options that you have. You kind of don't even feel like capable of making decisions or you just didn't, didn't want to make decisions. You want something easier or so, whatever it is. It is difficult, it's about decision making Tuesday, Wednesday. But that idea that you did have on Monday, that you narrowed down, made you really excited. Excitement carries forward on Thursday. Same thing, that what was on Monday with the sun energy. Now you do see joy, joy and happiness within this idea. And you are on it, okay? This page of once it's already there. With the sun, energy is excitement, perhaps overly excited. You know, um, everything is at the very beginning and you have to see not to burn yourself just with what is about to happen and all in your mind and, you know, to leave your future and your career and your happiness within your mind, you know, not, not even to bring it up outside. To, to materialize. Sometimes that danger comes with a page of wands that you are leaving your excitement and in your mind, seven of cups comes twice, all right? All in your mind, in your fantasy, all success, everything is there. Leave done and dusted, never to come out in your material world. But Thursday is by all means a very happy day for you. You will be very happy with yourself Monday and Thursday and I really think we are talking about the same thing. Now, Ten of Pentacles with death. Maybe, maybe you, you want to move forward with something that is just yours, just for you. But you needed perhaps support from your family. 
um, that you kind of felt that you cannot make up your mind, that you cannot do it by yourself. I really feel that you that you find difficult difficult to make decision and stand by it, to be responsible for your own decision. In that sense, you needed somebody, somebody to help you. And I think family stood by you, all right? And on, on, on Friday is with the Ten of Pentacles, it's very positive energy. Everybody is by your side. You do have successful completion, whatever that you need or to buy something. This is good investment. This is happy family, whatever that is on this day that you wanted to do, you will be successful with that. You will complete it in successful way and it will be completed and it's not going to be again. For many of you, it will mean that you will leave your family home, all right, um, to go for, I don't know, your career, your business, something that you are excited about, right? And you will leave your home and for good. You will follow your career path or something. Something will come up like that for some of you. By all means, you will have successful completion and that situation will not come up again soon or maybe never. On Saturday with Eight of Wands and King of Pentacles again, again, now Taurus, this is your energy, energy which makes you very confident, very grounded, very, very grounded energy. You feel good with this one. King of Pentacles, it's business mind. And I think perhaps on this day, you really think business and money making, long-term future with the King of Pentacles. You are thinking at this point, not just your, your career, your job, your money making, your, your pension fund down the road in, in, I don't know, so, so many years. That kind of long-term energy, long-term strategy for your life. And now with Eight of Wands, you are perhaps communicating about that. This is also communicating about business discussing closures in your contract, exchanging emails. This is very intense communication and I really feel that you are having it, that you are on it because you are very stable. You will dictate terms and conditions here, right? Because you are very solid one and you will be communicating. I really think it's something about your money and about your career. Sending CVs, looking for jobs as well could be. But the chariot on Sunday with a nine of wands, it's finally bringing yourself on your starting point. All these preparations, that was all preparations for this Sunday, for you to stand on this starting point. And from there, you know exactly where you're gonna go. Uh, this is competitor on the starting line. There's the finishing line. Nothing in between. Apply yourself. Go for it. You'll get there. Simple as that. Absolute winner. That's it. You will be proud of yourself. You will manage. Perhaps you need to put some extra effort. You see your goal and uh, it's just about your work. Maybe you feel that you need to work extra hard, but yeah, your goal is achievable by all means. It's a lovely energy uh, on Sunday. I really feel that all of it was kind of preparation for that moment, for you to stand on your starting line and you will from there go for your goals. Even if it's a hard work, it's fine. You will, you will manage. This one is a very brave warrior. Enjoy it, Taurus.